What's up, Sagittarius? Welcome back to There's That Tarot. And if this is your first time joining me, then I'd like to welcome you to There's That Tarot. Sorry, I think the music was too loud. Sagittarius. Y'all's meditation was interesting, right? Um, What I got is that I got drive slow. Like, drive slow, homie. Drive slow. You know that song. Anyway. I feel like a lot of you were caught up in a storm. Like, it was something really heavy going on in your life or maybe it was just like a big trend an uncomfortable transformation happening with you Sagittarius um I do feel like there was I feel like the universe God was telling you relax like peace be still you know what I'm saying like you just sit right there and let the universe handle the situation I know it's overwhelming I know that it seems like way too much, and it feels more personal than like about someone else. But the things that came your 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 meditation was like just take it one step at a time. Because I know you you guys are fire signs like me. I'm an Aries. We like let's go, <laughs> let's get it right. I feel like this was a time, or maybe you're coming through a time in your life where it was like breathe in, breathe out. And know that everything is working in your favor. I trust the timing of my life. Everything comes to me exactly when I need it. I am easy, gentle, and joyful. May I know that like a flower, I'm worthy of love without effort. Like this was a time that God was just like, yo, chill. I got you. I got you. And I do feel like after coming out of that storm, I'm getting a world card. I'm getting that like the pause. I'm getting that pause. You know what I mean? That pause after you... Uh, completed something and before the, the the next thing starts the world card fixed energy Taurus Virgo not Virgo Taurus Leo Scorpio Aquarius could be a part of your life right now um what was the other thing I got I feel like you're being shunted towards your life's purpose right now whatever is happening right now is for your highest good so believe that um there's an important per uh turning point in your life right now never mind the past life evolves every day if there's a question that you had in mind the answer is yes 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 a thousand times yes right bird and soul was one of the cards that came up not one of the cards but one of the songs that was playing it's the instrumental and um in that song it talks about i am no longer the same like those are the only lyrics it's like and now i'm no same it's like uh it's like this choir is to give you that old church feel you know beautiful beautiful meditation i do think that you should be expecting a very powerful change in your life in the month of april or perhaps you're already experiencing that what we're going to look at today sagittarius is what is going on in your environment for the month of april Who's in your environment? All that kind of stuff. We're going to see what pops up. And then we're going to see how you both feel about it. What's going on. So, two more shuffles for Sagittarius. One. And two. What does Sagittarius need to be aware of? What is in their environment for the month of April? Who is in their environment in the month of April? What's going on? <clears throat> Six of Swords in the reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Ten of Cups. One card for Sag, six, um, two. Six Pentacles, King of Pentacles in the reverse. Let's see. I'm seeing somebody travel back to a family or travel back to something that makes them happy. I'm moving back towards or finding a hard time moving on from something that made them very happy. I do feel like uh, there could be children involved here, a family, it could possibly be a marriage. Um, why do I hear someone accepting handouts? Maybe there was somebody who was afraid to ask for something. You know, those people who kind of suffer in silence. You know, so maybe, hey, your fire sign, you know, we can be a little prideful. You know, so maybe there was something that you didn't want to ask for or something. Some, maybe somebody didn't want to ask you for something. Maybe somebody just didn't have it. You know, I do feel like there was somebody who was... um Maybe not so financially stable. It could have been a male energy. Tori the Virgo Capricorn. I want to go back to what makes me happy, but I don't feel like I have enough to give is what I'm getting. 
from this spread. Let's see. Oh, this instant, y'all. Oh, my God. <laughs> Trying to smoke me out of here. Sage, incense, other things. <laughs> so, show me the six of pentacles. Not pentacles. Six of swords in the reverse. What is this? I gotta go back and fight for this. Leo? <laughs> There's a strength here. There's there's something about being strong and warding, either warding something off or fighting for something. There's a connection that is out of balance right now. So the two of cups came in your shuffle too, but now it's in the reverse. I do feel like, um, wow. You can be dealing with a Leo, a Capricorn, or an Aquarius very strongly here, but, I'm seeing a Sagittarius who's fighting going back to something or someone. They're trying to get over it or move forward from an attachment or from an, a binding contract, a marriage. There's a connection here that somebody's actively trying to move past because they, they know that some, there's something better for them or they know that they're a star. Shoot. It could be that. Or because quite literally, somebody could be holding back from a Leo <laughs> or it could be holding like trying to get over a Capricorn because there's a new Aquarius in their life it could be that but I do see um someone letting go of some toxic energy like really fighting it though fighting going back to it could be a way of being or a person or show me the ten of cups and I do feel like it's because, you know, maybe maybe whatever it was, whatever this attachment was could have been blocking your true happiness, could have been blocking you from investing and focusing on what it is that's going to bring you success, recognition, love on your job from people. Or maybe just fighting going back to something else because there's something else that makes you happy where you do get the love and the, you know, the investment from people. There's something someone wants to go back to because they feel like they're going to miss an opportunity. This could also be addiction, y'all. Fighting off an addiction because there's, I don't want to miss an opportunity for what makes me happy or... Just clearing out the bullshit, Sagittarius. Because I ain't trying to miss I ain't trying to miss my ship coming in. Like I feel like my ships are coming in, but I can't take all of this with me. I got the you know, so I do feel somebody just kind of pushing away what's not working here. Because I got hope for my ten of cups. I got hope for 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 this six of wands, this recognition, this success. I've been planting my seeds. I've been working my ass off and I'm not missing this opportunity is what I'm getting here. Why? There's a six of pentacles here. Maybe there's been a lack of confidence because someone has had to ask for help. It could be you, Sagittarius, with the Queen of Wands in the reverse. I do see some insecurities here. Um... I don't know why that the Knight of Swords in the reverse is giving me like afraid to take a chance on something or afraid or not coming forward to communicate something. I feel insecure about telling you this or c coming to communicate this to you, but I do feel unfinished business with you or like, I, I feel insecure about coming back to you, but I still do want to give to this. That could be your person because you make me happy. Whatever it is that's attached to you makes gives me fulfillment. From the King of Pentacles. Maybe this person doesn't feel like they have enough to give to you. They're like kind of weighing it out. They're like, is this situation stable? Should I reconnect with Sagittarius? Or are they connecting with someone else? What else the two of Pentacles here? What's the thought? King of Wands. So, either you lost attraction for this person and you're not wanting to return because you're happy with yourself at this point. This could be like you being in a really good position in your finances and you don't, you're not really attracted or 
you're not really being pulled towards this person or you're trying not to be pulled toward this person because you're you're looking for your emotional independence here and this person maybe feels that they feel that you've pulled your energy back or you know what i mean that you really ain't with it and so that makes them feel a little unstable about reconnecting with you so they're kind of like oh, do I? what do i do they're weighing the pros and cons of the situation but they got the king of wands in the upright so it's like i'm with it I, but i just kind of feel you know how you know you get what you give it's not about the law of attraction you got to give a little in order to receive and if you're only giving a little, you're going to receive a little. If you give a lot, you're going to receive a lot. That's just how it happens, right? I feel like this person or whoever is feeling the other person not be... Ah! Feeling the other person's feelings not being as strong as theirs. So it's making them feel unstable about reconnecting. But there is passion that they want. If that makes any sense. There, there could have been a breakup between you two. There could be a Leo of significance in your life. During the month of April. Confusing read. <laughs> but y'all know y'all situation better than I do. So let's look at the other side of the story. Let's look at how is this person feeling? Or who, you know, who, who's who? What's going on with Sagittarius? This person or whoever it is I'm picking up on. It's King of Pentacles. Who is this person? Either they're not giving it all they've got, or they are they're manipulating the situation. Or they feel like you are. Somebody feels like there's someone else involved in this. And they're kind of wanting to just like get out of this confused place. Maybe they feel like they've run out of options in this situation, like. I have a magician in the reverse. Could be dealing with a Virgo or an Aries. What? <laughs> this person, um, One thing I'm getting here is this person could be manipulating the situation to move forward because of money. Or they feel like that's what you're doing. Like, wanting to move forward. Or manipulating someone into, like, marriage or long-term goal or money. What is this? Show me the um, chariot. That's what I'm getting. It's like, give me a magician. Somebody's got it. Either somebody's got an ego problem, so they feel that they have to manipulate you into commitment by way of like giving you money, or manipulate you into making a decision about commitment. What? It's Leo. We have Leo. We have Gemini. We have Cancer. Ten of Pentacles. Maybe they tell you they have money in order to get you to move forward with them. Or oh, they think this about you. Two of Wands. This is this devil energy. This is whoever this person. Okay. This person wants to be attached to you, but I don't feel like they're being honest about everything. I feel like they're like trying to get close to you by way of manipulation or like something financial. That's how they're trying to like keep control over the situation, but really there's something. Ugh, who's the devil? I feel like that was your energy trying to get over whoever this person was or this situation. I feel like there's some emotional manipulation going on. I feel like 
whoever the female energy is had love, but the male energy was not committed to this. They, somebody was playing games. Somebody actually had more on their shoulders than they admitted. More responsibilities. What's the Ten of Wands? I feel like whoever the feminine energy in the situation is used their intuition. And they saw this. It's like, we're not in a commitment, but there's an attachment here. Maybe there's a sexual connection between us. I feel like you're trying to manipulate me into a commitment or making a decision about traveling somewhere with you. Ace of Swords. Because you think I'm going to cut you off. And maybe that's what you're doing. Hierophant in the reverse. This ten of cups in the reverse. Like, this could have been somebody that you were married to. And maybe because of finances, they're trying to keep you in this situation. But I feel like you're already like... <laughs> I feel like you're already moving on from this. Or you already peak game or something like that. I'm going to do three of pentacles. This person wants to work things out. Either they're manipulating the situation or they're not giving it all they got. Okay, with this magician in the reverse. Like, you have, we have all the tools, but this is not working. Somebody wants to work it out. Somebody wants to come off of this break from you. They do not want to be single. They want to overcome whatever ending happened or breakup that happened between you two they want to i'm getting reconciliation here show me the seven of cups it's a terrible shuffle <laughs> the seven of cups in the reverse Let's, let's move past all this confusion and I feel like they see you as the only option and they want to come towards you with this love and they, have, they could have dropped all of their other options but they've been watching you ever since the flame burned out between you two they've been watching you but they're like questioning it very undecided energy what does this person want to say to Sagittarius something just don't feel right very much still affected by this connection but this person doesn't open up very much they just like they probably want to people like oh let's just go with the flow but really being apart is immaturity <laughs> it's immaturity whoever you're dealing with feels a lot more than what comes out of their mouth and if y'all i'm just feeling like this is somebody who's older they may not be older than you, but they at least in their 30s, late 20s, 30s, possibly early 40s. And they still ain't got this uh, say how I feel shit down. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you are like, ugh. <laughs> you know, gross. I feel like you're following your intuition. You're not trying to get caught up in this anymore. I'm sorry I couldn't follow through with all of my promises. I'm sorry you are too. I'm sorry. That you have another reason to be sorry. I don't know. I don't see you going back towards this. I ain't even read your side yet. And I'm, I'm going to touch on it a little bit. This person wants to tell you how they feel now. But how? I feel like there's something. How, how do you feel when this person's around you, Sagittarius? How do you really feel if you really quiet your mind, quiet your spirit, and say, am I comfortable? Let's see how you feel about all of this. Set. I'm gonna um, pull from my other deck because these cards are too big and they're getting on my nerves. <laughs> how does Sagittarius feel about this person? I could have just made up all them feelings I just 
projected on y'all. I just want to see. You're not focused on this person. You feel like, mm, yeah, you don't want to do this. You, nope, nope. You're focused on work. You're focused on building something else or your focus is just elsewhere. I feel like you lost interest in this person. Like I said, nine of pentacles. You're in, you're in your independent energy. I think you're, um, it's like it's above me now. It's above me now. Page of pentacles. It was too much. They were a burden to you. Either because of their indecisiveness or their immaturity or... Will of Fortune in the reverse. Oh, that's too many cards. I mean, everything that came out earlier, that it was your side that was like, I'm, I'm good. I'm going to head out. Uh, in the reverse. Yeah. I feel like the only... I, I'm Yeah. The only thing to set and the only way to set things right in my life is to let go of these things that are hurting me. This person has hurt you with this manipulation. This person wasn't get yeah, the way you feel about it is you're guarded. You built a a a, a, a what do you call it? Offensive protection around you. I'm worn out. I'm not getting what I need. I feel like or like, I don't know, whether you're holding back or you're trying to manipulate me into doing something or you're trying to trick me. Magician? Wow. And I, but I saw that, though. I peeped that. I saw what you were holding back from me. You could be dealing with a Leo. We got Leo keeps popping up. Gemini. Fixed energy. Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. Justice. I choose me. You want to know what I choose? Me. Justice. The only way that I'm going to set things right in my life, here's the decision. Here's the answer. You. Sagittarius. Getting back on my path. What was in your meditation? Drive slow. Divine timing, allow things to unfold naturally. I trust the timing of my life. Everything comes to me exactly when I need it. I'm going to just sit over here, be easy, gentle, joyful, temperancy. <laughs> That's not a word. <laughs> I am no longer the same. We are not the same. You know, fire signs, we evolve like overnight, I swear. You don't, don't sleep on me, honey. I'll change my mind. Right now, you know what I mean? It's like, right now, my mind's changed. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't sleep on the fire sign. I just don't think it's a good idea. What's the outcome? You change your mind, you change yourself, you allow the change to happen because you slow it down in some way. Yes, 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 a thousand times yes. Whatever it is that this path that you're on, I feel like you know that you're back on the right path now. Yes, 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 a thousand times yes. I mean, I feel really good energy coming off your reading. I mean, whatever this person, you know, I don't know, but I feel like you ain't there. What's the outcome? Don't look back, Sagittarius. Go ahead and cross this bridge because right on the other side, I feel like I want to stop here. The Five of Cups talks about crying over spilled milk. You know, these cups that he drank out of, they fell like it's done is he gonna turn around and drink more or is he gonna cross this bridge back here and get to this castle where this ten of cups is at where his where his true happiness and fulfillment is don't look back don't look back go ahead and come out of your shell i know that you've been wounded by this whatever this attachment is but i don't see you getting caught up in that stuff anymore i see you blocking out this um this connection, I don't see any growth and expansion with this person. Empress in the reverse, no fertility here. I don't see you two growing together. I see this being like a karmic situation, a, a test. 
that I feel like you passed it. You followed yourself. You followed, you slowed yourself down and you followed the, you got back on the right path. You started to realize what you value, who you are or something like that through this, through this uh, experience. But don't look back. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. Any advice? Anything else for Sagittarius? Any more messages? Don't look back. I keep hearing it. Don't look back, though. Uh -uh. Ain't nothing back there. What's the... Nothing that has ever happened has anything to do with now unless in my now I continue to think and speak about it. A fresh new thought today will always bring me a fresh new experience. Boom. You deserve love. You are lovable, period. <laughs> Dot. There is chemistry between you and this person. They very well could be the one, but I feel like they need to say something. Because we have this could be the one. You are you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. There's a strong magnetic connection between you two. I don't know if you're feeling that way. We got soulmate in the upright. But you're not codependent on that energy. That was a card drop. <laughs> like a mic drop. Okay, that was lame. That was lame as hell, but I feel like where you are, it could be now. Two stories I'm seeing from this. This person could be something good. You know what I'm saying? Soulmate in the upright. You deserve love. This could be the one. Chemistry. Okay. But I feel like where you win is that you're not codependent on this energy. But maybe they're codependent on yours. And the moment you try to like box in a fire sign, we're like, uh, get off of me. <laughs> and I feel like maybe that's the energy that I was picking up on and you was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave it there. If you would like to look deeper into the situation or a situation that's personal to you, please like, mm -mm. check the description box. I am doing personal readings right now. I do have openings. So... Uh, you guys let me know about that. Please like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. And um, yeah, thanks so much. Ciao.